hello guys in the last video i explained you how to call the rest apis with the get method and uh, in this video i will explain you how to call the rest api with the post method in a drupal so before moving to this video please watch that uh, rest api video so that you will get the better understanding and uh, i will add the this video link in this video's description okay so first uh, i search on the google like the free apis with the post method and i found this gores.co.in so in this uh, they have provided some data to how to get data from their website now we will check uh, this api means this api is used to get the user data whose id is 16 okay now i will copy this i will show you you first by running this api in this uh, online website okay so like first we need to copy this endpoint and uh, add this endpoint here method name is post uh, in the content you need to add this query and send so it will fetch the result from uh, for this user whose id is uh, 16 now I will change this ID to some random numbers. Again, I will send the request to that API. Yeah, now you can see the result is different. Okay. So like this way we want to now display the result from this API. So for that uh, we will go to the our website sorry in the our code uh, for that uh, we will go to our controller this is the controller i already created for the uh, gate api now i will create one more function in this controller to fetch the data using the post method public function list post api the method name is a rest post api so in this uh, function first i will create one variable for the uh, to get the drupal http client second is the request variable dollar client and the method name will be the post like in the previous video we have checked the method name is the gate but uh, for this example it is the post api so we are using the post method so inside the post method first uh, we need to add that URL so we have already oh, we can copy this URL from here paste here next is the add the po what data we want to post so like they have mentioned we need to post this data so first we need to create uh, this type of structure in our code so query inside the square packet add the query so 
so here we are posting the data so what data they want to post this data copy this and uh, paste it here in the single quote okay so the next we need to add some uh, headers in headers we will add the content type so content type is the application json to not uh, cache this page cache control we will pass the value for that is no cache okay so now we will request this uh, Use, uh, now we have sent the request to this API now get that API request in the uh, response for that uh, create one more available response equal to dollar request get body get contents now we got the response in this variable now decode that variable result equal to json decode response now we will print the this result array now to call this function uh, we need to create one more routing so go to the hello world routing and uh, i will copy the same structure from the above create one more routing rest api path will be REST API and uh, here controller so we are using the same controller just change the method name so our method name is REST POST API title POST API save it and uh, now clear the cache before running this api this url in the browser so for that i will run the dash cr so the cache rebuild is completed now i will copy this url and uh, I will run this in my browser Okay, it is showing uh, the website has uh, encountered some error since we missed something okay. 
okay so actually uh, here we miss the yes it's a headers now I will try again otherwise I will need to rebuild the cache okay. I will rebuild the ca clear the cache one more time there is one more spelling mistake that is a uh, stp it's a client not a client so that's why it is not working now again i will clear the cache one more time uh, cache rebuild is completed now i will run this page one more time url i will hit this url so you can see the we get the data from the API now right now we are getting data for this 16 ID I will change that ID to some other numbers again I will hit this API we will get the different result right now it is showing that uh, this I uh, for this ID there is no data so I will add the 198 you can see we get the different data uh, yeah so that's it uh, from this video uh, please like the video and subscribe the channel thank you